Uh, I am from Sacramento. We came here from American River College, a group of students, to support Proposition 8, to support traditional marriage between men and a woman. And as our college officially supported that resolution, uh, we, we think that this is something normal for students to think about future. And, if you, and you cannot think about future without thinking normally about family, which was considered even in United States history that same-sex marriage or homosexuality is something wrong until 1950 when all the states they just considered homosexuality as a crime why they don't teach this uh, fact in schools when they present homosexuality why they don't give another perspective another viewpoint why because when you give that another perspective then children they start to think critically they try to understand who is right and who is wrong and they are not interested in that they're just interested homosexual community to brainwash children to the degree to get more people they understand that they are minority statistically that's why they naturally biologically they cannot produce children so they're looking for our children they can adopt but but still who, who are gonna who are gonna make those children normal people right normal normal couples in vitro fertilization yeah but still you need cells from male male and female it's important because i think it's a historical uh moment i think uh god wants us to be here he, sta he said in the bible stand for the truth and we understand that in the beginning how God created marriage between man and a woman, this is the truth. This is how it's supposed to be. But we also have separation between church and state. I, I can give you two, two, two statements. One is going to be church is separated from the state and the other will be state is separated from the church. What's the difference between those two statements? The difference is that when the state is separated from the church, that means that state has no control over the church. But when you say the church is separated from the state, it means that church lives somewhere, I'm not sure where. But the church votes, remember this, people who go to church, they vote. So they're not really separated and they are involved in politics as well. So that statement is kind of, you know, not, not, not that clear as they state. And when, when people wrote that in constitution, they didn't meant, they didn't mean, you know, church be separated in that sense that they are not uh, involved in these issues. I'm with American River College student body. Uh, we officially endorsed Proposition 8 uh, toward the end of 2008, September 30th. American River College, it's uh, the largest college in Sacramento, uh, about 40,000 students. I'm here to uphold my constitution. Uh, the people legally followed the process to amend the Constitution and now there's an attempt to undermine that. It's already been defended by the state Supreme Court. Uh, I have no idea what the federal government thinks it's going to try and do here. Um, you know, federal federal issue here is is really there is no case for it, for it being a federal issue. Uh, sodomy, the act, homosexuals commit was a crime all the way up until 1950 in all 50 states. Um, there was there was there was no issue with any constitutional um, uh, violations there. There was no no problem there. So if if they want to legalize it, they went through the proper process and decriminalized sodomy for, for the most part, except for in well, 13 states. Well, it's already decriminalized. So. Right. So they went through the proper process there and um, and went through and amended uh, amended the laws, took the laws off the books they didn't like. I appreciate that at least. I, I disagree with what they did, but I appreciate them actually following the rule of law here. Um, they're trying to uh, undermine our constitution. I think it's it's uh, outrageous, actually. Uh, well, the plaintiffs are arguing um, equal protection under the law. Right? Well, they're arguing it's a federal issue, and there it is no federal issue. It's a it's a state issue right here. It, does, it doesn't seem to be an issue that the state supreme court agreed with. So I'm saying it's a state's issue. It's already decided. So that's that's you asked why I was out here, and I explained that to you. That's why I'm here to uphold our constitution, uphold the. Uh, really the, the rights of voters. Um, we have a right to, uh, to vote, we have a right to have our vote counted, and uh, those here apparently are trying to take away my right to vote, my right to have it counted, um, my right to be heard. Um, that's uh, fundamental to, uh, to this state, and uh, I'm going to support that, and I'm going to support the will of our student body at American River College that endorsed Proposition 8, and um, 
I just want people to follow that 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 process. I I understand there's a it's a debate in our society today. It should be handled civilly, like like we're doing here, but uh, trying to uh, to force it with uh, a, a federal issue there, have a couple judges decide it. I don't think that's the the proper legal course to take right here. Uh, do you believe your rights as a heterosexual person trump those who want same-sex marriage? How do you know I'm heterosexual? Well, the, the reason I asked you how, you how you would know that I'm heterosexual is because I have to self-identify as that to you. That, yeah, that so it deals, it, it's not an immutable thing. It's like you have to ask me. I don't have to ask if somebody's black. Okay. I don't have to okay. ask any of that so stuff. So, you are so, I've, so with, you with you not or? knowing uh, my sexual orientation, um, you know, I can, I can comment on the laws that we have right now and say they're equally applied to everyone. I can't, uh, I can't marry a man. Um, and uh, everybody, no, nobody can marry a person of the same gender. So uh, those laws are equally applied. If somebody wants to change that, go for it. You know, but but follow the process. How would you say they should change that? Then? How would they change it? Yeah. Well, I mean, they've they've been doing a a decent job at the procedure, which is change hearts and minds. Um, that's that's my job too. So um, they've they've followed that pretty well for a while. But it looks like there's a lot of intolerance to um, you know just society not changing as fast as they would like. Um, but you know, it's it's a it's a slow process. Go through it. If there were a ballot initiative allowing uh, same-sex marriage, then you would accept that. I would accept it. Yeah, as, as they're following the rule of law, I'd oppose it as a as a um, a bad law. But I would at least give them the credit that you know they're they're following the proper process. I mean, they've they've gone through. They they put in the time. I admire the uh, the effort that uh, those in favor of same-sex marriage have, have put out there. Uh, I disagree with the message that they bring, but. Uh, for the most part, you know, I mean, they've uh, they put in the time, and uh, uh, they deserve uh, a lot just because of the sacrifice they put into it. So, would it be fair for me to say that your position is that the people tell the courts what to do, not the other way around? Uh, in this case here, um, the courts have already decided it. I, I just think it's ridiculous that the federal government would get involved here. So, yeah. but I, I, I'm really just trying to get at your position on ballot initiatives and their relation to, to the courts. I mean, the courts going to interpret. The, what the Constitution says, the Constitution Article 1, Section 7.5 says only marriage between a man and a woman is recognized in the state, so they can interpret that and that's it. <laughs> that uh, It's pretty simple interpretation though. Well, I, I, the California Supreme Court decided first that, that uh, uh, gays had a right to marry. Right. And then a valid initiative overturned that. Dude. Well, it had to be clarified in the Constitution, like I was telling another reporter. 30 years ago, me holding up this sign, people would drive by going, okay, you know, uh, why, why bother putting that up in there? It's a really clear, self-evident truth, marriage is a man and a woman. Um, I don't know what happened to the courts today, uh, thinking that uh, that somehow has, uh, has fundamentally changed, um, or it's always been some right that was there for same-sex couples to marry. Um, so I, I would just disagree with their um, thought process there. Um, you know, I'd, and I'd look to some of the dissenting judges' opinions. I thought thought were uh, thought were decent. I mean, just because they make a ruling, uh, we can examine it, and make sure it's a rational ruling.